Animals Protection Act 71 of 1962 intends to consolidate and amend the laws relating to the prevention of cruelty to animals. It was gazetted in the Government Gazette as a private member's bill with an invitation for the public to comment. Will the bill succeed in protecting animal rights? Well, let's speak to the African Christian Democratic Party's Steve Swart for more on this. Steve, appreciate your time this afternoon. Just give us some insight into, uh, I think there are two main changes that the bill is calling for. What are those two changes? Yes, and thank you for having me on the show. I firstly would just like to commend Beauty Without Cruelty. In my background, you'll see all the people that, um, the, the pictures of people that support this bill. Well, the bill is a very narrow bill. And as we know, animal welfare is very important. Animal protection is very important in our country. And sadly, like many other areas of South Africa, we do not score very highly internationally. On the Animal Protection Index, we score an E when an A is the best score. And there's been a lot of uh, advoca ad advocating, advocating for improvement of animal protection in our nation. And one of the worldwide trends is banning cosmetic testing on animals. And so this bill, which my predecessor, Sherilyn Dudley, started in the previous parliament, but unfortunately was not able to finalize, is a continuation of that process, and it is a very narrow bill which seeks to ban the cosmetic testing on animals in South Africa, as well as the sale and manufacturing of cosmetics that have been tested on animals in South Africa. Now, let me immediately say, because a lot of people will say um, that it's going to lead to job losses and things like that. At, at this stage, this is a preemptive bill like other countries have done, such as New Zealand, there are no laboratories in South Africa that test cosmetics on animals in South Africa. We are preempting this. And what we are seeing is we're coming in alignment with international trends where this is happening. We are pleased to see that this bill, should it be passed, will improve our index when it comes to animal protection worldwide. And it is a first step in a process and we are so grateful for the assistance that we've had uh, it was initiated by NGOs that approached the ACDP and said will you continue with this bill and particularly Beauty Without Cruelty that's done amazing work on research uh, the, the parliamentary legal services and the bill uh, seeks as, as indicated in the input it seeks to ban the cosmetic testing on animals and the sale and manufacture of any cosmetics that have been tested on animals in South Africa only. Mm. If, you, if it happens elsewhere and we still import cosmetics, that will not be impacted because obviously there are concerns. So because this bill was not passed in the previous parliament, we have narrowed it down significantly. It's not controversial. And I'm very pleased that when we presented the bill to the Portfolio Committee on Agriculture, land reform and rural development on Tuesday this week. There was overwhelming support for the bill at the initial hearing of the bill by members of parliament across the board that could see that this is an international trend. And yes, there will be mm. questions about it, but this is the beginning of a process that we will now embark on this bill. Now, Steve, you did put out for public comment because it is a, a, a public bill. Now, how much uh, public response did you get well, we are very pleased. Noting that this is a private member's bill that I presented as a member of the ACDP, we received thousands and thousands of submissions. In fact, um, as, and, and every submission has been collated. We, we received 2,383 public submissions, overwhelmingly in support of the bill from 45 wealth, animal welfare organizations as well. Some people making submissions said it doesn't go too far. It doesn't go far enough. And we appreciate mm. that. And there is a whole review of the animal welfare legislation in South Africa. And that was referred to at the Portfolio Committee. But that has been taken so many years. This is a quick win because it is a preemptive bill and it will improve our index. The um, web page, Dear South Africa, had a further 5,000 submissions. The overwhelming majority supported the bill, but many saying that it doesn't go far enough. But it, in our view, this is a very good start. And the fact that animal welfare organizations have supported the bill as a beginning, as a good start, speaks a lot to us.
Now, we had the input from the department on Friday. Uh, that was yesterday. And there were some concerns expressed from the department. But once I had explained once again how narrow this bill is, and it is a preemptive bill to, that we follow the, the processes and legislation such as New Zealand that say at the moment there's nothing to stop laboratories testing cosmetics on animals in South Africa. A laboratory could be set up tomorrow. And there are alternative means of testing cosmetics on animals. And that has become the worldwide trend. And I was very pleased with one of the uh, MPs on the platform, uh, Tammy Breat, who said she makes use of vegan products that are not tested on animals. And this is becoming a worldwide trend internationally. And I'm sure if you go into malls and you go into cosmetic shops, you'll see Beauty Without Cruelty, which is the growing trend. And so there's a lot of positive aspects to this bill as well. I suppose where, where I get a, a little, bit, uh, little bit confused is around the number of animal owners in, in this country. Uh, there are multiple millions. You've gotten a response from, from only 5,000 of those. Surely it, it, no. does, it doesn't speak to a disconnect between animal lovers and wanting to, uh, or animal owners, and wanting to protect their, their pets and, and other animals for a start. But does it speak to the inadequacy of the amount of advocacy that was going around. I mean, just how many people knew about the intended bill in order to, to get the necessary support, overwhelming support that you would have liked? Yes, I, I, I totally agree with you. It's a process. But in my mind, this is the second time that the bill has been public, uh, published for public comment. And it has been promoted, as far as I'm aware, with animal advocacy uh, organizations as well. But this bill was published in the Government Gazette. And let me just hasten to add that once the process, and we are trusting that the Portfolio Committee will pass a motion of desirability, then the actual process of Parliament considering the bill begins. And it will then, Parliament will then again call for public comments and all the organizations and anyone that is interested mm. will be able to again comment on the bill and that will be the next process that is engaged upon. But I fully appreciate there are millions and millions of animal lovers in the country, and there are um, concerns about the impact of the bill on jobs and things like this, but it is such a narrow bill. It is such a narrow bill, and I need to continually emphasize mm. that it will not impact imports, it will not impact on exports, it will not impact on any import of a cosmetic that is tested on an animal internationally, because we've got international agreements. So this is the thin edge just to start looking at animal welfare in our country. And one of the very positive aspects that has come out in my research is that there is a link where countries do not protect animals and where you have animal abuse. That translates into human abuse. And there's academic studies that have been done in that regard. And we see in the news, we see the most horrendous acts of criminality against animals in our country. And that can translate into criminality and abuse towards humans as well. And that is an issue which there's a, there's a lot of support. If we look after the most vulnerable in society, our animals, we, it does translate into greater care for one another as in society. And that is a positive spin-off that we see. The other spin-off is that the alternative testing methods that are being introduced worldwide are creating new forums, new small businesses, and that is another avenue for business creation. So whilst there were concerns, will it lead to job losses? No, not at all, because there's no laboratory testing on animals for cosmetics in South Africa. But there's scope for alternatives. There's scope mm. for alternative testing. And in fact, where you have alternative testing, that is becoming a worldwide trend, and exports can be increased in that regard. So it's a win-win situation. As I pleaded with the committee, let's unite hands. There's so, many, so, so much negativity around, and you, you pointed out at, at, the, at the beginning, um, your, your predecessor, about the floods and the, the tremendous... You know, South Africans are really struggling with oh. so many issues. Here is a feel-good bill. It's uncontroversial. It's straightforward. And we can all unite behind a worthy cause. It is not necessary to test cosmetics on animals. It's not done in South Africa, but this is a preemptive bill that I think can win a lot of support and unite Parliament for once so we can stand together instead of what 
the public sees in the parliament, which is disgraceful, the disruptions, Kerry can come alongside and support mm. animal rights with the hope that while supporting that, we can reduce the levels of violence in our society and it is for the common good of society and that is why we as the ACDP have come behind this bill. But we look forward to it being uh, passed and uh, signing off. Uh, thank you so much, African Christian Democratic Party's Steve Swartz. I appreciate your time this afternoon.